Okay, before we can start working on the push notifications, we actually need to install the Firebase core module. So to do this, first thing we'll do is actually go to our terminal, and then I'm going to say yarn add at react dash native dash Firebase slash app. And that's going to go ahead and download all the core Firebase things that we'll build off of for our push notifications. Once that's done, make sure you go ahead and actually install the pod dependencies, the CocoaPod dependencies. You can do that easily via npx pod install. And while that's going ahead and happening, next thing we need to do is actually go over to the Firebase console. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. We'll call this push notification class. Hit continue. I'm sure, we'll set up Google Analytics. I'll choose an account and we'll go ahead and create this project. We'll hit continue and then once we're inside of Firebase we need to go ahead and actually configure an iOS and an Android app. We'll go ahead and do Android first. So if we actually go back to the project overview you'll see that we can add an app to get started. Let's go ahead and do Android. Now we need to add our Android package name, so I'll go to my project, then you want to go into your Android manifest, go into the main directory, and then our project name is going to be this com.pushnotification demo or whatever you have in your project. Then we can just give it a name, push notification class, and we'll register the app. And then you need to make sure you download this Google services.json. And then going back to your project, inside of your Android app directory, you want to go ahead and paste that file. So go ahead and drag it over, drop it into Android app directory, and then we've got this Google services.json. And each one of these is going to be unique to your project, so you need to go ahead and actually create a unique one for your app. Now we need to add a dependency to our build.gradle. So inside of Android, at the root level of Android, you'll see a build.gradle. And then inside of dependencies, you're going to want to add a new dependency. To do that, we'll say class path. It's going to equal com.google.gms colon google dash services colon 4.2.0. And that'll allow you to actually read this Google services json file okay and then one final step before we move on is if you actually go into your android app directory you'll find another build.gradle in here and just below this apply plugin com.android.application we're going to say apply plugin com.google.gms.google-services okay with that done let's go ahead and check that we can actually build android still Okay, and with that, we can see that we have successfully configured Android and it is building successfully. With Android successfully set up, let's go ahead and do iOS next. Going back to Firebase, go ahead, click through all this. This is all set up, good to go. We'll skip this. Now let's go ahead and once you're back at the main app screen, we can go ahead and add another app and then we're gonna choose iOS as our platform. Now we need to add our iOS bundle ID. This needs to be a unique identifier that you register with both Apple and then set that up in your project. So the Apple ID that I'm going to be using is com.handlebarlabs.pushnotificationclass. Then we're just going to go ahead and give this the name push notification class. You can register this app. I then need to download my Google services info.plist. And then let's go over and we actually need to open up this project in Xcode. So I'm going to say open iOS, then the project name .xc workspace. Okay, with that done, the first thing we need to do is actually set our bundle identifier to be what we're set using with Firebase. So this case, com.handlebarlabs.pushnotification class. 
Now within Xcode, we need to go ahead and right click on our project and say add files to push notification demo. I'll go ahead and find the file, which is Google service info.plist. I'm going to make sure copy items if needed is selected. And then I'll go ahead and press add. You should now see Google service info.plist in your project. Next, again, inside of Xcode, we'll go into the push notification demo and open up our app delegate.m. At the top, top of the file before the info or the if debug, we're going to go ahead and import firebase.h. Then we need to go and find our did finish launching function. And at the top of this file, I typically put it right below the if debug. I'm going to say if fir, and this fir should be wrapped in brackets, if fir app default app is equal to nil. Then we're going to go ahead and call fir app configure. Okay, once this is done, we need to go over to our terminal again, and I'm going to cd into the iOS directory, and I'm going to say in here, pod install dash dash repo dash update. This is going to go ahead, install the necessary CocoaPods, and also update the repo uh, to make sure we're grabbing all the right dependencies. Now let's go ahead and try running our project. Yarn run iOS. And with that, our project is successfully set up on iOS and Android, so we can go ahead and move on. If you run into any issues, I'm going to have the link down to the official documentation below where they've got some miscellaneous debugging steps, or you can just follow along with the steps we just ran through in the video here.